Hey there, so if you've ever watched any of my videos before, then you've probably seen my office already, but today I wanted to bring you guys behind the scenes and show you around, give you a bit of a tour and just walk you through what's in my office, why it's there, how it all works. I think it'll be really fun for you guys to see the space that I work in. And it also might give you some inspiration for how you could decorate your own space. I wanna preface this all though by saying that getting to the point where I am now has definitely been quite a process. I really used to struggle with decorating my home at all or any sort of design, anything. And just through practice, through decorating my office over and over again with each different place that we've lived, I've gotten a little better at it and a little better. Also things like editing YouTube videos and designing YouTube thumbnails has really helped to kind of develop my artistic eye. So I'm not claiming that this space is Pinterest perfect, but I really like how it looks and it's definitely my favorite office setup and decor that I've had so far. So I hope that you guys like it too. So welcome to the space. Let's start over here in this corner. So here I've set up this whiteboard um, and we have this stool. And honestly, this part is a little bit more um, just aesthetic than actually functional. I do use the whiteboard sometimes for planning, but very rarely sit in this stool. Um, and then here I've got this fiddle leaf fig. I really wanted one of these. I love the look of them, but uh, I tend to kill plants. And so I was a little bit nervous to get one. Uh, and then I saw this one one day when I was at Lowe's and it was on clearance for $20 and it is a real plant. And normally I think it would have been well over $100 and I was definitely nervous to get it because I figured if it was on clearance, then it probably was dying anyway. But I've had it for probably six months and it has only grown new leaves. It hasn't lost any leaves. So it's doing way better than I thought it would. Okay, so then over here I've got the printing station and this was actually part of my old desk that I had. It's an Ikea Alexa shelf. And so it has shelves or drawers over here um, that I keep most of my office supplies in. Um, and then we have a printer that we use all the time. So in this top drawer, I just keep pens and then also like lipstick and lip gloss, um, these blue light glasses, um, some homeopathic remedies. And then this is full of just like SD cards and I have even more here, I have a million SD cards. <laughs> and then scissors and stapler and things like that. And then in this drawer here, I have more pens and pencils and some little candies and stuff like that. And here I have some notepads and stuff to jot down notes on. And then in this last drawer, I can't really open it right now because of that, but I just dump papers in here that need to get filed. And then I file them like once a month or so. So I don't even need to open it on a daily basis because I'm just sliding papers in there. And then over here, I have a bunch of plants. The plants are something that is definitely new to this space. I didn't have any real plants in any of my previous offices, but I love the look of them. I've always been someone who kills plants and so I would would just try getting one and then kill it and I felt like I shouldn't get more but when I moved into this space I just decided I was gonna go for it and just get a whole bunch and learn by trial and error basically and I've actually found it was way easier to keep a bunch of plants alive than to keep just one um, I think because I notice them a lot more so I don't forget about them and I remember to take care of them um, and I'm loving having plants in this space I think it makes such a big difference um, now over here, we've got these two bookshelves and these bookshelves have moved with me through a couple different office spaces. I really like the look of these shelves because it adds kind of some wood detailing to the room without adding a lot of color necessarily. And so it just, I think, provides some neutral details. And then on the shelves, I've placed some objects both for aesthetic purposes and also some things that are somewhat meaningful to me. So I have a lot of vintage books. I really like to collect vintage books from estate sales and things like that. And and yes, I do actually read these books. They're not just for looks. Of course, we've got some, a couple more plants. Over here, I have my 100K YouTube award. If you haven't heard the story about the saga that I went through to get that, they really didn't want to send it to me for some reason. It took them many, many, many months. <laughs> anyway, there's a video about that as well. I'll link it up in the corner there. Um, and then let's see, what else is here on the shelf? Over here, I've got this like mail organizer and I do actually use this. Um, whenever I get incoming mail, I just put it up here and then 
I sort through it and all the action items get put here and stuff that needs to get filed put here and then I dump it in that drawer and then I file it later. It's not the most efficient system, but it means that the stuff actually gets sorted right away so I can take care of the action items without having to worry about filing it, which is something I tend to procrastinate. Here I've got a mirror that's mostly for just aesthetic decoration purposes, but I do use it a lot of the time when I'm getting ready to film, just like touch up my makeup and my hair and stuff like that. And then over here, we have my main desk area. Now this actually moves a fair amount from time to time. I like where it is right now and I've had it here for a little while. I like that I can see out the window and that the window light comes in. Um, but sometimes when I'm filming, I just want a different layout. So I do tend to move it around, sometimes centering it in the room. And then of course behind the desk we have even more plants. The plants like to be there because they do get a lot of window light, um, but it also tends to be kind of cold down there on the floor and so um, this just isn't the best space actually for plants, but I have them because I love them. <laughs> so we make it work with a lot of artificial light and things like that. Okay, so here in the actual desk space, um, I have this white chair that everyone asks me where I got it. I got it from Office Depot uh, a couple or three years ago. I don't think they have it anymore, but you can get similar chairs from somewhere like Office Depot or Amazon. So I'll try to link one down below. I'll just point out this light over here and we have another one over there. And I use those pretty frequently when I'm filming in combination with like a ring light or something like that for my face. So here I've got my monitor and then down below we have the computer tower and it's a cyber power PC. So it's actually like a gaming computer. And the reason I have that is just because to do video editing, which most of the time I don't edit my own videos, but I like to do it sometimes. And you need a pretty powerful computer to be able to process the graphics for that. And then this monitor here, I'm pretty sure I got from Costco, but I know you can get the same one or the newer model of it from Amazon as well. Um, and it's a Samsung monitor. And what I like about it is that it's white, so it doesn't kind of mess up the aesthetics of my desktop, but it also is curved and I do like that as well. And then here I have this keyboard that is white and silver and a mouse that's white and silver. Again, just to kind of keep with the neutral white aesthetic. And then up here, you'll see I have two cameras. Um, this is a webcam that I got a few years ago. It's a Logitech 1080p webcam, and it works amazing. Literally every time I'm on a Zoom call or live streaming or anything with it, people always ask me what my camera is, which is kind of funny since it's just a webcam that's a few years old. Um, but recently I set up this other camera here. It's a Sony A6400, so it's a mirrorless camera, and I set it up to be a webcam as well. And I don't actually need both of them, aside from that the webcam is just so easy and always works, um, whereas the mirrorless requires a little bit more fiddling with. Um, and since it's new right now, I just have both of them set up. Over here, I have things for podcasting primarily. Sometimes I use this in videos um, and I always do use this microphone whenever I'm doing just like a Zoom call or anything like that um, because it sounds the best. Of course, like the webcam has a built-in microphone and so does the camera, but why not use this microphone when I have it sitting right here for the podcast? Um, so this is a Rode Procaster mic. And then I have this arm here from Gator Frameworks. And then this, I actually don't know what this is called. Um, it is some sort of device that makes my computer understand what the audio says. I don't know anything about the technical aspects of podcasting, as you can tell. And then here I have these headphones and these headphones um, are from the brand Meze and they actually sent these to me for free a couple years ago. Um, I don't pretty much never do brand deals, but they just sent them to me and was like, if you like them, mention them in a video. So we did a video where I talked about my gear and I do love these headphones. They sound great and they look great. I get so many compliments on them. Okay, so I think that that's pretty much everything for the computer area. Aside from that, I'll just mention that this drawer or this desk here has no drawers at all. It's actually a, a table, like a dining table that I got from Ikea. I had a couple desks before it that just tended to be a little bit too small and a little bit too flimsy for this big monitor um, and then like this big microphone setup here. And so I ended up just switching to this white dining table from Ikea and it's worked great. I do kind of wish that it had some drawers and so I will probably change it out for something else at some point but it looks good and it's simple and it works. 
Okay, and then this space right here is kind of an alternative filming set that I created because I didn't want my videos to always be looking exactly the same. The rest of my house I don't prefer to film in, partly because the color of a lot of the walls is just a slightly warm color. It's kind of like a beige color and it doesn't tend to look very good on video, but also because I have four kids and they are always running around being crazy and you know putting their toys everywhere. And so it's a lot of work to film out there because I have to really tidy things up a lot. So I like to just keep my office as the space where I film and keep it pretty tidy all the time so that I don't have to worry about that because setting up to film is plenty enough work on its own. I don't need the added work of cleaning my whole house. So anyway, but I didn't want my videos to always look exactly the same with just my computer in the background. So I set up this other space. I did do a video about how I set up the space, where I got the different items, why I designed it the way I did um, as a separate video. So I will link that in the card if you want to find out more about like how to set up a filming space like this on your own. Then over here we have yet another plant and then this shelf um, which is very functional for when I just have random stuff that I need to set somewhere. It tends to not look as tidy as I would like because the shelving is open but it's useful. Um, and down here you'll notice on the ground I have an X and that marks the center of my office here and that just makes it easy for me to know where to put my camera whenever I am trying to do like a centered shot and I'm sitting smack in the middle of my office. Okay, and then the last thing I want to show you guys is my closet, which I'll warn you now is messy or at least overly full. Um, I keep pretty much filming supplies in here. So we have a ton of tripods and we have like lighting stands and lights and things like that. And then I also keep some shirts up here that I often like to wear when I'm filming videos. And this way I can quickly change between shirts if I'm filming a couple of videos back to back. And also just because a lot of the times the clothes I wear in videos are different than the clothes I wear in real life. Partly a seasonal thing, like right now as I'm filming this, it is winter. And so most of the time in real life, I am wearing thick sweaters, but I don't really like to wear those on video because then the videos get too seasonal. And so if I make the video in the winter, then it's kind of weird for people watching it in the summer and ends up looking dated. So I try to normally wear things that are fairly season neutral, not too lightweight or too heavy duty in videos. And so I keep some things like that in this closet. And so then over here on this side, I have all of this shelving and this is really useful for holding all the different camera supplies. I'm not a person who tends to like micro organize stuff. So it's more just like categories of stuff. So up here I have several different camera bodies um, and then the lenses that I use most commonly on them. And then here we have some different kinds of light bulbs and over there is where we keep the printer paper. And then down here I have a bunch of things that are like uh, devices for attaching cameras and other pieces of filming equipment to tripods. And down here, there are just like tons of different cords, micro USB cables and stuff like that. Um, and then down there on the bottom shelf, there are batteries and battery packs and things like that. Um, and then up here on top, um, there are some lights and a filming bag. And then here in this bin, this is like a prime example of me not micro organizing stuff. This is just all of the small camera equipment. So especially like batteries and battery chargers, that is most of what is in here. Um, and then I have here an external Internal monitor that I use with the camera as well. Um, but yeah, mostly batteries and battery chargers because there are a lot of them because I have several batteries for every camera that I have. Um, and I kind of nerd out about cameras and so I have several of them um, just to get different effects and things as I make my videos. Okay, well, I think that that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed seeing around. Oops, it looks like I forgot to record an outro for this video, but if you enjoyed it, then please give it a like to let me know and also consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos about entrepreneurship and how to grow on YouTube. I hope you are having an amazing day and I'll see you back here next week.